I'm uh, very excited about our next guest. She's my friend and she's my neighbor. She was introduced to me by a, a, a mutual friend who uh, is, happened to be my realtor and was uh, her realtor when she was looking for a home. She also happens to be a very popular and successful actress. Recently, she took on one of her most challenging roles, that of small business owner. Uh, a few months ago, she launched her lifestyle website, Preserve, uh, which fuses fashion, storytelling, e-commerce, and philanthropy into one uh, very beautiful platform. Please welcome Blake Lively to our stage. Hi. <laughs> Great. Let's sort of sit down right here. Excuse me. Uh, thank you so much for coming here today. Oh, I'm so honored. Well, you look amazing. Thank you. And uh, I, I noticed a slight difference in your figure from the <laughs> really? last time I saw you. Yes, in my cheeks? <laughs> yes, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm packing heavy down here now. When does the baby do? Uh, next year, yeah. Oh, well, wonderful. Well, you look vibrant and beautiful. Thank you. Now, you've been so, so, so successful in your acting career. You have been in beautiful ads for many fantastic products that you have helped promote um, worldwide. I, I just saw beautiful ads of you in Turkey. I was there this oh, wow. week and I saw you in, uh, in billboards. What inspired you to take on a whole new endeavor? This uh, wonderful uh, entrepreneurial initiative called Preserve. To me, this is just an extension of what I already do for a living. So I'm really lucky to, to tell people stories. As an actor, the, the greatest part of my job was always sitting down with people who I otherwise wouldn't meet. So sitting down, hearing their story, what their passion is, what their pain point is, and, and why they get up and, and do what they do each day, and then try to portray them with honesty and love. And, and that's what we get to do at Preserve, is we're finding people's stories and we're sharing them, whether it's an artisan or, um, you know, it's, um, it's our, our cause that we work with, Covenant House. It's, it's all about storytelling and, and bringing people together. So how many people in the audience have uh, studied Preserve, looked at it, and, and um, oh, say Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And you should, all, you should all take a look at it. It's, it's very beautiful. And I uh, just saw the, uh, the baby shower with all oh, yeah. your friends, yes. many of whom seem to also be with child. <laughs> There's something in the water because <laughs> all of my friends are pregnant suddenly. Okay. And I'm, I'm always the one who's in charge of planning everyone's showers and their bachelorette parties, and, and they're not letting me off the hook because I'm pregnant. <laughs> Well, oh, it's, it's, it's it was a charming party. <laughs> Everything you. about it. Uh, you all looked great, and it was very colorful and very lively. Lots of kids at it. Yeah, too. lots of kids. My nieces, my cousins. But what was fun for us was to say, well, you know, because when, when I look at pictures of showers, I say, well, I want every element of that. I don't just want to know the recipe, or I don't just want the outfit. So our challenge was to say, let's try to make every element shoppable. So everything that we're wearing, down to the ingredients in the food, to the gifts inside those those boxes, um, everything you're, you're able to, to buy. On oh, preserve. and the tie-dyed onesies. Those were so cute. Yeah, but that that filter, it looks a oh, well, like the, vi the vibrant colors. The Halloween version. <laughs> no, Texas I Chainsaw I thought, onesies. I thought they were kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, you so, need to do our onesies next time, Martha, please. <laughs> tell us how you curate your uh, choices and how you've uh, kind of put together this whole idea. It's all been um, personal experiences of mine. So the artisans that you're seeing are people that I've met through my travels, um, people that my mom has introduced me to, people whose stories, ha whose stories have affected me. So whether that's a fourth generation bag maker or a ceramicist or um, a woman in New Orleans who saw all the discarded guitar strings after an amazing show. Oh. And, and she took them and turned them into these beautiful bangles. And then she said, look at these musicians. They're, you know, they don't have health care. Here they are contributing to our culture, so she gives a portion of her proceeds back to those musicians. Um, so, or, or an artist that I love who, you know, her paintings are like crazy expensive, but you know, it's not affordable for most people to buy a $10,000 painting. So we said, can you do throw pillows for us so that people can have her in their home without having to have, you know, right. what she's most known for. And, and so, you know, that's, that's always the balance that we're trying to strike. How did you put together Preserve? Oh, did you, do you have a, a company behind you now? <laughs> it was um, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It still is. I would joke that, you know, acting is, is you know, when you're working, it's their very long days. And I thought I wanted a 9 to 5 job, but I didn't know it was 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. <laughs> How about 9 to 9 a.m. to 9 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. But, you know, we have an incredible team behind us, but there's nothing I'm not involved in from 
product copy, descriptions of the product on the site, to styling the shoots, to making the food. I mean, it's just like filtering photos. I've learned how to do that now. Well, it's probably a good time. I mean, are you working now? Are you, are you filming with while you're pregnant or no, not? No, no, I'm not filming oh, so while I'm pregnant. Yeah, 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 so I get to, Keeps your get to mind focus on, on this. Uh, something very productive. Yeah, I have to be, I have to have too much on my plate or I can't function. Who has given you the best business advice? I have friends who, um, who I look to that are idols of mine. You are, I mean, to be sitting here being interviewed by Martha, that's so crazy. <laughs> um. I, I love it when Blake comes over to my house, and uh, you haven't been over for a while, but... I know, but, you have to uh, invite me. But she, you, came for, you came for Easter, uh, and we had such a good time, and, uh, and uh, so, did, so did your nieces and nephews. Yeah, I, I yeah we had... And uh, it was very, very fun to have you on, uh, and, and Ryan, how's Ryan? He's good, oh, he's good. good. Yeah, Martha, when, she, when we met, Martha's like, oh, I know how to ride motorcycles, I'll ride with you. Ryan. That's the only woman that could creep up on my man that I would be okay with. <laughs> I was like, go, go, please. We need this. <laughs> uh, the roads where we live are too dangerous. That's true. <laughs> they are. I haven't seen Ryan riding around. <laughs> is he involved in preserve? He is. Probably more than he wants to be. But what's important um, in preserve is that it's, it's very much about family. So it's not just female specific. It's, it's um, everything that I love. And, and I love shopping for him as much as I love shopping for myself or, or, or creating a meal for him. Um, so we're doing a special line with, with sand ass bags. And I was on FaceTime with the designer the other day. I'm like, Ryan, which stitching do you like? And poor thing, he's, you know, he's got a nice day job too. And here I'm making him pick yes, stitching for our bags. <laughs> Well, that's good. It's good, to, it's good to have the support um, in the house. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Now, uh, you just moved to a new, beautiful farm. Mm -hmm. um, how's it coming? A lot I, of work? You know, I think that I, think that I hate um, redoing my house constantly because we're always changing a room. But I think I just love it. I'm just a glutton for punishment because it's so much fun to take a space and personalize it. Or when you travel, you discover something new to, to reinterpret it. And, and um, you know, because that's, that's what I love in a home is when everything has a story. And, and you know, I, I found that in your home too, that beautiful, I remember you had a plate that almost looked like a tree trunk and you told me all Jeff Bridges you know, made it for you, and it was No, I, cool. I made, he taught me how to make it. Oh, wait, you made it? I made it, oh, yeah. he taught you how to make yeah, it. Yeah, he came on my show, and he, uh, this, Jeff Bridges, the, the wonderful actor, who knew that Jeff was throwing pottery? Wow, right? yeah. And uh, it's a slab pottery, and he showed me how you take a, just a block of clay, and you throw it sideways on a table, and it flattens out like that, and then you shape it into into faux bois, you know, it looks yeah. like Japanese raku, right? So beautiful. Yeah, and uh, I was so pleased with it. I want to, and now, I, if, when I find time, I'll make some for a preserve. Oh, I would love okay, that. Okay, wouldn't that be great? You guys heard it. Fine pieces. Right, yes. <laughs> I've got paperwork. <laughs> I'll, I'll credit Jeff. Now, I, you're very fashion forward. When I, I saw you at Tan this year, you were the most gorgeous be, oh, uh, woman you. there. You were. You were Thank bar you. none. I mean, it was just amazing. Now, how are you choosing the fashion that's being shown on your website? I choose it in the same way that, um, you know, I've never used a stylist um, because I love it too much. It's such an expression of self. So it was exciting for me. But it designers preserved. come to you too and beg you to wear their clothes, don't they? Not beg. There's some begging on my end too. <laughs> but, um, but what's hard is that, you know, we all of the, the clothes that we feature in uh, on Preserve are made in the U.S. And it's a lot more expensive to make things in the U.S. And it's more time consuming and it, and it um, increases the price for consumers. But it's really important to support that industry because so many of the factories are, are closing down. Um, so it's hard to find designers in the U.S. That, that are less discovered. But it's so much fun when you do because, I, you know, I get personal emails from them. I got an email from someone the other day who said I was going to fold my company because it's, it's, it's hard to start yeah, this industry in America. And, and now here we are and, and, you know, thriving. Well, you have jewelry, you have handbags, you have uh, beautiful pieces of uh, clothing, mm -hmm. unique things. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that uh, you, you keep up with those too. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, so your, your new production, uh, two productions at the same time, which is quite, <laughs> I'm sure many of you in the audience have had the same experience, uh, having babies, uh, making a new home, uh, uh, keeping the husband happy and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Him keeping uh, me happy. How are you finding the balance of all of this? Um, and a job. I mean, a rather a, an important day job, too. <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm, I, I function best when I have too much on my plate. But 
but it's all it's it's what I do anyway. So preserve is just an extension of my personal life. So what people know is what I do for a living as an actor. But anyone that knows me personally, when I'm at home, I'm baking, I'm decorating, I'm trying to figure out how to sew, even though I'm terrible at it. There's a lot of safety pins and hot glue as <laughs> cheats. But you know, this is this is what I love to do. So it's it's preserve is more sharing my personal life in, in, in a platform um, that, that's a business, so it's a lot more time consuming that way. But. So do you get involved in the technology of your site too? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, the, the most important thing for us is, you know, I really relied heavily on my friends and loved ones and, and, and people who I looked up to before. Is your preserve. brother one of your photographers? Yeah, my brother. I noticed yeah, that. He helped yeah. us out. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. Um, but, but it just shows how important family is to me. But now that we're up and running, you just, you learn the power, like if, if you can actually track the analytics and you can learn your community and you can learn who, who your community is and what they're connecting with and why, what content, what products, you can really serve them and, and that's what's exciting because, you know, you, you have your nest of people and you can give back to them. Are you going to design some stuff for yourself, too, your own product? I want to. Yeah. It, when, as soon as I figure out how to make 28 hours in the day, <laughs> that's, that's when I'll do that. But, um, but yeah, we're, we're working towards more exclusives for now. Well, I, I think we must have some uh, interesting questions from our audience. Hi, my Hi. name is Richie Holmes Grant. I make uh, baby gear and mommy gear. And um, I have a question for you about motherhood. What are you looking forward to the most? And how, if at all, do you plan to incorporate it in your work with Preserve? Well, I don't know what the heck to expect. So I'm, I'm really excited about, um, about learning it and, and, and learning it on, on the journey that is Preserve. Because like I said, Preserve is very much an extension of my personal life. It's just, um, it's shared, but it's not shared in a way where this is, this is me, Blake, and this is my journey. It's about everyone coming together and, and learning together. So um, we started with, with the baby shower on Preserve, opening it up to baby products and, and, and things for mothers, these amazing bath salts and foot rubs for mothers. Um, but, but it'll grow as, as I grow and as I learn and as, as, as my family grows. And so, and it will also, we very much listen to our community, like I said. So if people are really engaging in that and want more of that, we'll, we'll share more of that. Rose from Connecticut, Hi. excited to be here. Uh, fan of Gossip Girl. Thank you. Um, but now, I didn't, I didn't know about your website, but are you gonna do a lot of baby stuff like knitted baby booties and blankets and a lot of homemade items? Would That's another fun. exclusive Martha's gonna do for us. I'm oh, gonna she's gonna sign up it. afterward, <laughs> along with the, the pottery. Um, it's, I don't know how to do that stuff yet. So you gotta learn to knit. It's I fun. have to learn to knit. I, I started, but I only know how to knit in a straight track, <laughs> a scarf. which doesn't really get you far. That's where the hot glue comes in and you start shaping it into booties and nobody wants to wear hot glued booties. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, um, this is a question for both of you. The holidays are coming up. So I just was curious for both of you, how much time do you spend making gifts and wrapping presents and what are some tips for saving time around the holidays and why do they work? You wanna go first? No, that's for you. <laughs> well, my family has this really horrible tradition. We love wrapping presents so much and the presents are always better than the, than the actual gifts inside because they're just the most beautiful wrapping. And it takes us so many days to wrap presents that we then don't want to unwrap them because they're too beautiful, so we don't unwrap them until January 3rd. But now my family's figured out that why buy presents when they're expensive before Christmas? So now my family doesn't even buy presents until the after Christmas sales and then wrap them so we can enjoy them for two weeks. So I it will give terrible advice in this category. <laughs> Ask Martha. <laughs> this is for Blake. Hey. Hi. <laughs> So you're in a unique position where part of your job is playing other people, mm -hmm. but then you've chosen to start this business where you're sharing so much of yourself. Mm -hmm. For you, what are the limits in terms of what you'll share online and, and how is that going to balance with people you'll be playing on screen? Well, it's definitely a scary thing to share yourself, especially when you're already in uh, the public eye, because so much of you is shared with people already, but in a very... Um, false way, you know, they just make stuff up all the time. It's actually pretty entertaining to see the things they come up with. But 
the important thing to me about Preserve is that it's, it's not about me. So I'm on this journey, but it's about the people that I'm meeting. So there, there are teachers and there are experts and there are artisans all over the world that know what they're doing. The people that know how to knit booties that I don't, or people that know how to, you know, make scarves or these amazing bunt cakes. And, and I've always been hungry for, for knowledge and for experience. So for me, it's really, it's sharing my journey than it, more than it is sharing my own expertise because, um, I don't have that much expertise, but I have an incredible amount of passion. And, um, and through that, you know, I, I learn. And, and I've been, you know, I've been lucky to, to have great teachers. And that passion is the number one uh, of the 10 business rules that I talk about, having the passion. Oh, I, well, it's actually number two, because after the idea, it's the passion. Mm. And if you don't have that passion, you're just not gonna be successful. And uh, you're, you have it in spades, oh, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Right here. Uh, my name is Melissa. And my husband and I run our own stationery company, um, and we're also expecting our first baby next year. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. I wanted to know if um, impending motherhood has kind of changed your drive for success. I think um, you know there's something um, instinctive where you want to protect your family, so you want to be successful um, in order to, to to always have stability for your family. And and you know acting is something too that's that's very um, it's very much in the hands of other people. So while I love that profession, it also always scared me from the time I entered it because I always knew how much I wanted to be a mother, and I thought this is a career that I don't control, that that people decide if they're going to use my services or not. So. I want to create my own career and I want to create my own world um, for, for myself but also for my family. So um, a big part of a big part of wanting to start preserve was that was saying, you know, I, I, I need um, I need a world that, that that is my own and that I am in charge of its success or failure. Hi, um, I'm Becky and I am I have not drank the water, but all my friends have, and I'm the party planner of the group. So kind of, what is the most important element that I, for either one of you that you put into those parties to make it memorable for you know, all your attendees? Um, well, for me, having that special party is, uh, I'd, rather ha I'd rather have a party than just a dinner party. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have, and, and have it over the top, um, and not that it's, I mean, and when I say over the top, it doesn't have to be expensive to have, but it can be elaborate and it will take a lot of work. Uh, for Thanksgiving, for example, um, we've already set the tables. Can you believe wow. this? And it's three weeks away. Wow. I, I, all I did was sort of indicate, like put out plates and just make sure I could fit enough people in one room. And it's already set, you know, just wow. set. But, uh, and the, but it's about being organized and, and uh, being a little bit over the top that, that'll treat people with a generous spirit and a, and a flamboyance that uh, mm -hmm. they won't actually have elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know you're like that too. I mean, the stuff that you create. Well, you're such an influence of mine. I mean, what's amazing about Martha is that she always transports you. So you look at a celebration that she throws and, and you step into to that room and you're in a different world. And that's magical and that's memorable and that's an experience that you take with you forever. So you see that in the pages of her magazine. I've been lucky enough to see that in her home. And that's something that, that always influenced me. And so, you know, my answer is just trying to copy her answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Blake, you, and uh, my best to you and Ryan, you. and, and uh, uh, have, a, have a wonderful Thanksgiving season. Um, we'll be outside your window okay. looking in. <laughs> <laughs> Come over while I'm baking pies on Wednesday. Oh my gosh, we will. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. Thank you.